Hello and Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. JD Collectible here again, and today we're going to be doing a quick um, unboxing. Of course, brought to you by our good friends at Amazon. Um, of course, Prime is great. You know, get things here as quick as humanly possible. So let's get into it and see what we have. And I also want to just uh, hope everyone had a great New Year's. Um, hope you brought a year in safely with your loved ones and just wishing you all best as you traverse 2023. I may post this on my Facebook page later today. I'm thinking about it, but I'll see. So, okay. So we have the Series 128 MVP Montel Vontavious Porter. <laughs> and oh man, I remember when he first came into WWE, he actually had that. Um, they was well, MVP was always his acronym, but they would actually say the name uh, his full name a lot more. If you're a current fan, you know, who watched WWE since his you know comeback a couple of years ago, you probably current like new fans probably aren't aware of his full uh, his full name, but uh, MVP. Um, good figure, good figure. And again, this follows my trend of, um, just like I collected the Rey Mysterio figures. You no, know, lot last year went heavy on those. I've gone really heavy on the figures, uh, in the suits. You know, I, you know, this, I can add, um, the Raw Mendoza, the, um, Joaquin Wow, Miz, Baron Corbin figures, I just really find these figures just so visually appealing in the suits because for a long time we weren't getting figures of, you know, wrestlers in the suit. So it, it's just a different look. You know, it's just just really nice, really nice. So uh, take a look at the packaging, you know, basic um, basic, well, basic series packaging. We have MVP on the left and his, you know, the little cocky smirk. And on the back, we see the other figures in this series. Of course, Raw Mendoza have him, uh, Sasha Banks, Big E, and Edge. And let's get into it. Let's see. This should be pretty. Quick and painless. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So let's see what we're working with. Have MVP with the, and that's a little, well, that can stay on. It's actually, let's go ahead and take that off. It's a little, it's a little, um, looks like a little string, like it's a little plastic, I think, piece that was kind of connecting the, the chain or anything, I think, but, okay, so first off, the thing that stands out most about this figure is the bling, um, MVP, of course, is known for his fancy suits, fancy lifestyle, period, um, and that gold chain, the Hurt Business, and of course, the Hurt Business, uh, was the faction, um, of him, Bobby Lashley, Shelton Benjamin and, oh my gosh, what's the other guy? Cedric Alexander, who were a pretty dominant force on the Raw brand in 2020, through 2020, through early 2021. I still do not, am just upset, you know, one of the great WWE, you know, booking errors of the last few years was the premature breakup of the Hurt Business. I thought they were really just hard, starting to hit their stride when Bobby Lashley won the his first world title in, um... That was 2021, I think February of 2021. And then, you know, Vince decided to break the group up for reasons I, like I, said, I still just do not understand. And Benjamin and Alexander, they haven't been the same since. Of course, Lashley's gone, Lashley's gone on to be a big, huge star, um, bigger star than he was even at that point. But, um, you know, an MVP, I mean, it really didn't benefit him. MVP has been, you know, with Omos, and Omos is far from being a top star. So I just think it was a... It didn't, no one benefited from the Hurt Business being dissolved. And it was just a good, you know, one of the rare, very rare all black factions. You don't get a lot of black factions of prominence in WWE um, these days, well, if ever, really. So, but again, nice chain. The chain is removable. So we're just going to actually take it off right now. So we can, and I like the, um, I like the, um, the layered suit, you know, the, 
the triple, um, you know, you have the jacket, you got the vest, then you got the, you know, the shirt and the tie. I like the purple too. And then you have the purple um, handkerchief or you call it pocket square or whatnot that really pops out too. And uh, of course, it got on some dress shoes in the face scan i mean these the face scan is on point and again i love collecting the basic figures you know and i you can't you know the, between the basic and, the, and an elite series figure to me for the most part the face scans are um pretty close to being identical i mean of course the elite you know they have a little more of that fx technology but the face scans for the basic line figures has improved so much over the years and um just a really really clean looking figure really clean oh you can see the beard and the you know the beard mustache the nice you know cut nice nice hairline <laughs> uh take a look at the back of the figure and again just a nice just solid i just really like the way these figures and suits just feel in my hand there's just so much thickness you know with the jacket and the vest and you know just really like it and the jacket actually opens up quite a bit which is a nice touch so you can see more of the vest um so like i said just a really really solid clean figure that i can add to uh, the rest of my um suit set <laughs> so um, so again that's it just wanted to do a little quick unboxing today and again um as i said earlier just um hope you all had a uh, wonderful you know time bringing you the new years and just want to thank you all for supporting this channel i definitely just appreciate the the love and the um you know dialogue and just everything i love doing these videos just love like to bring you into my you know collection space um, my collection escapades so there are of course more are coming down the turnpike and definitely um like comment subscribe also check me out on instagram at jd collectible you can see my collection i mean um going back to you know when i started really documenting it on instagram my collection dating back to late 2018 so if you're into wrestling figures if you're into anime dvds if you're into um you know wrestling magazines um old school video game magazines uh wrestling autographs just a lot of things uh definitely just check out my page where that community we are growing and again just um got a lot of things planned this year so just hope you all are along for the ride with me thank you for being along this ride with me and i will talk to you again after a while have a great one